Well, hello and welcome back. And a very, very Cali, Cali Mera from downtown Cater Paphos. That's the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea sitting on the coastline. And it is licking and it is laughing at the coastline of downtown Cater Paphos. If you're new to the channel, thank you very, very much indeed. If you've just tuned in, thank you very, very much indeed. We are in the middle of November. And I like to come and sit by the water's edge, shall we say, and enjoy the tranquility, the calmness, and the view. And so do a lot of other people. They like to come down early in the morning and go for that walk, go for that jog. People like to go fishing. People like to go and sit and wait for one of the bars or restaurants to open. And then of course, they can sup on a pint, have a frappe, have a hot latte, or perhaps wait for that perfect breakfast. But there is something special. There is something unique about downtown Cato Paphos. People come back here over and over again. It's a little bit like Tenerife, perhaps if your name is Lady Deborah and there's a Sir David in your life. Yep, you've got a special place in your heart for Tenerife, but now you've got a special place in your heart for downtown Cato Paphos. And soon your princess will be coming with you and I'm pretty sure that she will fall in love with downtown Cato Paphos. Who am I talking about? Princess Millie will be waiting for you and we really, really will. I'd like to say a big, big shout out to Lady Kirstein in downtown damp and dreary Scotland. And of course, Sir John of the Ricey. Hopefully you guys are getting ready for Christmas because it's not far away. And then hopefully planning your next little trip to the island of love. Some people who are here at the moment, all the way from downtown in Warrington. Big shout out to their princess, Princess Sophie, and of course, their other superstar, that is Viscount JJ. If your name is Sir Justin and Lady Tracy, thank you for coming to see us at the forthcoming Marie Curie Lounge Bar. And thank you for your ideas. And hopefully we'll get to join you for a drink or perhaps a bite to eat before you return to downtown Manchester and of course get back in the car and then head to Warrington because it's not far and you could even pop into Ikea on the way couldn't you and perhaps buy some chairs and some tables because we're going to need some chairs and some tables and uh, they're quite expensive. On that note if you do like what you see please consider to hit the like smash that subscribe it doesn't cost you a single penny it just tells YouTube that you like what you've seen and perhaps they should recommend the little channel known as Marika and me to more like-minded people like yourselves. But if you would like to keep us afloat, like our superstar Lady Anna in downtown Krakow in Poland, hopefully you've had a fantastic Independence Day. We thank you for those three coffees. If your name's Lady Alex in downtown Kuklia, she's now come to Paphos for the rest of her life. We thank you very much for those 10 coffees. And of course, your name will be featuring on the Hall of Fame in the forthcoming Marika and Me Lounge Bar. And for those of you who'd like to get involved and help to fund that spectacality of a bar that will be coming to Paphos on the 15th of March 2025, all you have to do is hunt us down on PayPal. Paul G. Cyprus, that's P A U L G E E, that's Paul G. Cyprus, and up will come a little picture of myself and Marika smiling and wishing you a very, very good day and a big, big thank you. And I'd like to say a big, big thank you to a few of the guys that have gifted us a couple of bob. If you're a family of barn hawks and you're led by the man known as Baron John, we know the good in charge is actually Baroness Louise who likes a little bit of cheese and a little bit of wine now and again. And she's just getting ready to retire. Yeah. She's gonna keep her nursing license so she can go back into it if she wants, but she's done her time. She's worked hard and she's helped an awful lot of people. We wish you a fantastic retirement and we're looking forward to seeing yourself and of course Baron John when you come to downtown Cato Paphos. Please please say a big big thank you to your daughter and our superstar the baby Barnhawk and of course her Harry the Keeper and of course your names will be on the Wall of Fame in the Marika and Me Lounge Bar as will some people from downtown Damp and Drury, Wellingborough. Yeah, if you are a baron and you've got a baroness in your life, that's Nigel of the Big Guns and, of course, his girl. Oh, 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 so, 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 so sweet Caroline. We thank you 
for your huge contribution to the little venture known as the Marika and Me Lounge Bar. Hopefully you are enjoying the view. And I know there was a girl who liked the last time I did this, and she's Lady Alley. And hopefully normality is turning to your lives and hopefully, slowly but surely, things are getting back to normal. Pretty sure that Lord Neil will be taking great, great care of you. And of course the Pussycats, yes, they'll be dancing around. Little Princess Georgia and of course Princess Charlotte, I'll bet they are growing up rapidly like our little Pussycat, Princess TC. And on that note, a big shout out to Sir David and of course his blonde beauty, Lady Angie. Yep, our TC is growing rapidly. It's amazing how, well, children, cats, dogs grow, isn't it? They go from little E's to big E's very, very quickly. And uh, it's nice to be part of that little special part of their time, isn't it? Anyway, look at that for review. Look at the calmness, look at the tranquility. And remember, it's the middle of November. Yes, if you only just tuned in, you heard me correctly. It's the 15th of November. November and I think that this weather is going to continue well into December yes we get the odd storm but it doesn't last very long I mean a lot of people on Facebook don't half like to make it sound as though it's the end of the world coming <laughs> but all we get is a bit of rain and of course Cyprus is not really set up for rain is it it's set up for holidays and set up for sunshine so when the rain comes the drains find it difficult so the roads flood for a little bit, but not for long. And very soon, of course, it returns to this. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what many, many people who watch little channels like ourselves want to see. They want to see the beauty, the spectacality, the calmness, the blueness, and the sunshine. And it takes their troubles away for that little bit. So I'll let you enjoy that view as I light up. One of my little boy cigars. Yes, sir, Chris from downtown in Manchester. We're having to cut back on the cigars to fund the Marika and Me lounge bar because there's an idiot in downtown Wiltshire and uh, he convinced me to open a bar. Yes. All right, he did gift us £5,000 to start it off, but uh, it was his idea, so he's responsible for all of the troubles and all the grief that we are going through at the moment. But uh, we do thank him very much, and we thank his girl very much. That's Baron Von Cigar, Lord of the Martin, and of course the greatest, 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 greatest accountant in the world, Lady Victoria. Thank you very, very much. And of course, we look forward to seeing you on the 15th of March when you jet into downtown Paphos for the grand opening of that little bar that you started shall we say you started the fundraising for it and you gave us the idea you gave us that push if you remember and uh, i'm never going to forgive you that's for sure feast your eyes and digest there's one of the blue buses whizzing around that's bus 6110 where it's going i don't know I've never wondered, you know, on the front of buses, they always tell you where the bus is going, don't they? But on the back, they just put the number. And you do wonder why they don't tell you where the bus is going. So then if you were following the bus, you would know where it was going. So if you were lost, you could follow the bus. Anyway, that's one of my little silly jokes for the day. Lots of people walking around, lots of people fishing, lots of people understanding the calmness. And it's something special. Uh, and I understand if you're living in downtown Cornwall, perhaps if your name's Lady Kerry, and of course, Lord of the Tony. Of course, Duke Phil and his girl, Duchess Sharon. You're obviously not very far from the coastline. And I think it's still nice, isn't it, to go and sit, perhaps in a coat, perhaps on a bench, perhaps with some woolly gloves on and a woolly hat. But it's still nice to go and watch the sea as it uh, licks and laps, shall we say, the coastline. Obviously in downtown Cornwall at the moment, it's probably licking a little bit too hard for most people's liking, but there's something about the water's edge. There's something that attracts us to it, human beings, isn't it? There's something that makes us look up into the stars. There's something that makes us look out into the ocean. Perhaps we want to go for a swim or perhaps we want to wash our feet, who knows? But there's something special about sitting looking out into the sea. Whether it's sunny or whether it's piddling down with rain doesn't make much difference. There's something calming and tranquil about it. 
And as these people walk past, you can see all of them looking out into the sea. Their heads are cranked that little bit. They're all enjoying the view. And they all understand that uh, it's very special, especially in downtown Cato Paphos. And that's the point. If you are looking for someone to come for a holiday, perhaps you've never been to Paphos before, perhaps you've never heard of Cyprus before, we promise you, if you come here, you're going to get a fantastic, fabulous holiday. There is a lady here at the moment. Her name is Miss Jane. And she was in conversations in the comments with me asking about where T&J's Fish and Chip Shop was. Now, I believe it's the best fish and chips in Paphos. Obviously, that's my opinion, but many, many people agree with me. I recommended her to go there. She checked the prices and said, oh, it's a little bit expensive. But anyway, she took the plunge and she went there. And then she said that she'd had an absolutely fabulous portion of fish and chips and her bill with a couple of drinks each, two people, I assume, and perhaps they had some little dips and some bread and butter, as you do with fish and chips, was 50 euros. Now, it's not actually a takeaway, it's more of a restaurant that does takeaway. The service is fantastic, the food is fabulous, and it's very conveniently located. And I'm so happy that Jane went there and then said that she had a fantastic meal. And hopefully she will write a review on TripAdvisor for those guys because they do work hard and put an awful lot of effort into it. And I do believe that they make the best fish and chips, British style, on the island of love. Although, if I was up in Pataras Way, I've no doubt that the man known as Sir George from Cyprus Insights would give me a smack around the head and say, no, it's Mr. Cod. And maybe it is. Next time I'm up there, I'm going to go and dip my toes in his swimming pool and I'm going to go and try Mr. Cod for some fish and chips. And hopefully next time when he comes to Paphos in the spring, he will bring his camera as he's threatened and come and make a little video in the Marika Rumi lounge bar. And hopefully Tom from the Cyprus Nutters, he's coming, he's coming to the grand opening. He's gonna bring his camera as well. And hopefully Dominic will come as well. And we can knight him and give him a title and stick him on the wall of fame. Well, not literally, although that would be a bit of a laugh. Drop in the comments if you ever watch Dominic, would you like to be stuck on the wall of the Marie Curie lounge bar. We can get some of that uh, super duper gorilla tape or something like that. And you can bring a cat as well. Anyway, that's me pontificating and rabbiting on about a little rubbish as I normally do. The point is, if you're looking for a great holiday, whether you've been to Cyprus or not been to Cyprus, get on the internet, find the special place that you think is perfect for you. Drop it in the comments, ask us our opinion, Tell us a little bit about you, your ages, whether you're a couple, whether you're bringing children, whether you're bringing your cat, whether you're bringing your dog. And we'll give you our opinion. Because there's a lot of great, great places from apartments to villas to hotels and hotel apartment complexes in Paphos, which will provide great service for varying budgets. And you'll have a great holiday. And we promise you, you'll always want to come back. That's for sure. I'm going to sit here and watch as the people jog up and down and walk around and uh, plan my next move because I've got to go for a coffee, might go and get a bite to eat and then I've got to go and do a little bit of work. Yeah, you see, even on the island of love, some of us have to work. Got to go and collect a car or two, perhaps sell a car or two. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it, if I could sell a car or two and help to fund the Marika and Me Lounge Bar. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I've enjoyed your company, hopefully you've enjoyed mine, and hopefully you'll keep on coming back to the little channel known as Marika and me. Thanks for watching.